Ever since AI chatbots became so prominent lately, I have been using them in my day-to-day -day use. And I have tried both ChatGPT by Microsoft and also Google's Bard. There are some key or major differences in each of these, but there are also pros and cons to each of them. However, here's my thoughts on the differences or the key differences on both of these AI chatbots. Let's get right into it. First up, Google's Bard chatbot is trained based on the model Lambda. Lambda is language model data application. This was announced several years ago by Google, but came into competition lately ever since OpenAI became so famous. And uh, what I noticed about Google's Bard is it does have the power of the web and Google backed up for the results that you are looking for. And it's very snappy or quick to respond. It doesn't have this animative typing like feature that the chat GPT has. It can sometimes get really frustrating when you're looking for an answer that you really want to look at immediately. I've been using them daily for like composing emails or for solving any quick calculations or Excel issues or formulas. And uh, how Google deals with this is very snappy in comparison to ChatGPT. However, I prefer Bing when it comes to generating images. Now, now this brings us to the second part that is the creative content or creative process of both of these chatbots. Now, Google's Bard is definitely capable of displaying images if you want to. You can uh, you can search for images through Bard itself. It has three ways of using them. You can select from between precision, balanced or creative. And if you choose to go creative, then you can use Bing's image creator. It generates images based on your text prompts, which is backed up by Dali 2. So that's one upside to using Bing. Another drawback to Bing in comparison to Google's Bard is also its training data set. ChatGPT was trained with about 175 billion words. Now this is data that was collected by them or that was used to train these language models. And Lambda on the other hand used 137 billion words. That's a lot of data that it is trained by. Though the capabilities of Google's Bard is limited in certain areas, it is still very informative and does provide links also just like Bing provides us with links at the bottom of each query. However, uh, putting them to conclusion, overall experience that I'm having with both of these is that ChatGPT now has a mobile version, so it's pretty handy even when I'm at work or anywhere out, I can quickly refer to ChatGPT and get quick texts or data, emails, paraphrasing and all those stuff. Oh, on the other hand, uh, Google Bard is more reliable and accurate for me in many searches. It's very fast, but Bing is still good when generating very creative content. These are my thoughts on the two AI chatbots. If you have been using them too, let me know in the comments below. Give a thumbs up if you like this video. See you on the next one.